Children, good morning. All of you today for class 12, ISC, CBSC, and West Bengal Board. Also, derivatives of inverse trigonometric function part 2. That means you have already got one lesson, you must go through that lesson. Now, please pay your attention on the board. Sums given from ML Agarwal's book, exercise 5.6, that is new book, and 5.7, that is new old book. Sum number 7. Part 1. Some you will get in your book and here also it is written clearly. Now pay your attention on the solution. Here given cos inverse 1 minus x by 1 plus x. Let y equal to cos inverse 1 minus x by 1 plus x. Now differentiate with respect to x we get dy by dx and cos inverse x. Differentiation of cos inverse x. Just know Yes, 1 my root minus, minus root over 1 minus x square. In place of x, there is 1 minus x by 1 plus x. So, we have to write this. Then this part we have to differentiate again. That is 1, uh, that we have to write in this way. Now, we have to simplify and this part we have to differentiate. By simplification, that is LCM, 1 plus x whole square and here 1 so 1 plus x whole square minus 1 minus x whole square and this is we have to differentiate by u by p u by p yes so u by v yes tell so uh, yes yes that is p unchanged 1 plus x unchanged differentiation of this minus this unchanged differentiation of this by 1 plus x whole square. Now we have to simplify and this we have to differentiate again. Now again we have to remember the formula of what you have learned at class 9. a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square. Just know 4ab. Yes, 4ab. Yes, that is a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square equal to 4ab. In place of A, here is 1. In place of B, here is X. So, it will be 4, 1X divided by 1 plus X whole square. Now, this is unchanged and differentiation of minus X minus 1, differentiation of plus X 1. Then 1 plus X whole square. Then we have to simplify more. Here is minus sign. So, minus this. Then into, we have to change this fraction this is why root over 1 plus x whole square by root over 4x and this we have to simplify that is minus so minus 1 minus x here is minus here is minus so it will be plus then 1 plus x whole square then root over 1 plus x whole square and this part that is 4 we may write 2 square root over 2 square and this we may write to root x and minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 now 1 plus x whole square 1 plus x whole square that we may write root over 1 plus x whole square into root over 1 plus x whole square that that is root over whole square root and square will be eliminated then it will be 1 plus x whole square this is why and uh, 1 plus x whole square and 1 plus x whole square it will be cancelled and here minus 2 here is minus here is minus no, here is minus here is minus 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 it will be plus and here is 2 this this will be 2 square root and 2 square will be eliminated that is 2 and it is root x and this root over 1 plus x. This is the whole square, root n square will be in it, then it will be uh, 1 plus x. Then this 2 and 2 will be cancelled, then by simplifying we are getting 1 by root over x into 1 plus x. This is the answer. I think it is clear. Next, sum number 8, part 1. Some you will get in a book and here also it is written clearly. Here given sine inverse x plus sine inverse root over 1 minus x. 
let y equal to this, then differentiate with respect to x, we get differentiation of sine inverse x that is going to be very well, 1 by root over 1 plus x square plus, there is plus sign here, also again we have to differentiate uh, sine inverse x in place of x, it is given root over 1 minus x square, so we have to write root over 1 minus x square whole square. Uh, uh, then this part we have to differentiate again, this is why we have to write this in this way, root over 1 minus x square. Now we have to simplify and differentiate, that is uh, root and square will be eliminated, then it will be 1 minus x square and here by differentiation it is coming, root we have to eliminate, that, that we may write 1 minus x square whole to the power half and by applying the formula x to the power n differentiation n in place of n half half into 1 minus x whole square half minus 1 now this part again we have to differentiate this is why uh, this is 1 minus x square now we have to simplify this is 1 and minus minus it will be plus x square and this is half and this this part minus half is coming so minus half and that is we may write 1 by root over 1 minus x square and this minus x square differentiation of this that is minus 2 x minus these two and these two will be cancelled then you know, we have to simplify 1 by uh, root over 1 1 minus x square and here 1, 1 will be cancelled, then it will be 1 by root over x square and then it will be 1 by root over 1 minus x square and this minus x. This minus x and root over x square, this is also x, x, x will be cancelled. Then it is, it will be 1 by root over 1 minus x square and here minus and here plus, plus minus minus so 1 by root over 1 minus x square. These two will be cancelled, so answer 0. If you follow the step, then easily you will understand. All the steps are shown here clearly. So, if you follow the step attentively, Ishan, I may assure you, easily you will understand. And not only Ishan, others also you will not feel any difficulties. Okay, thank you everybody.